Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Creeper World 4. That is right, we are back heading in the colony section yet again for another L-Pack. That's right, it's L-Pack uh, The Feast. And it's someone's first map, so I'm very excited to see it. Um, can you stop those pesky humans from consuming your jelly goodness? This is my first map, please be gentle. That's right, we shall be gentle. Uh, you know, it's an L-Pack, you know, we, ha we have the goodness coming to us. Very much a fan. Uh, greetings command... I mean, ahem, overlord. Those humans keep looking at us funny with strange metal implements in their hands. Maybe we should do something. Hmm, mayhaps indeed. Uh, I heard there's some trumpet-blowing advisor who might be able to help, although last I heard he was jabbering on about uh, Kremnos or something. I think he finally lost the plot. Uh, first time making a map, hopefully more coming soon. So let's take a look at this map, and it is uh, it is a doozy, so to speak. Um, we do have a few emitters on the map. We have our starter emitter, which is already starting at 100, which is quite nice. I'm a big fan. Uh, we have an emitter that is nullified, an emitter that is nullified. So we will have to see how those go. Uh, but more emitters, more good, of course. Uh, we have an air sac cauldron, which is quite nice. We have uh, a friendo zone with the skimmer factory. Uh, we even have a spore launcher, which is also quite nice as well. Um, so yeah, we, we have some things at our disposal. We have a, a full complement of units, even a blob's nest. You know, always a good time. Uh, now, fortunately or unfortunately, there is quite a lot of uh, breeder zones. Now, these breeder zones, I believe have sprayers in them mayhaps or near them yeah there's sprayers near the breeder zone so i don't know if those are turned on or not uh i see a sprayer over here so again they have uh, ac breeder zones as well so they do have zones and they do have sprayers so my guess is those will be on so we will have some ac to contend with as well um and yeah this is sort of the go uh this is essentially our starting zone we do have the ability to mesh which is not in every l pack which i'm actually going to use right away clicking on the x mesh so we have to kill mesh um, but we can also just click on mesh uh which wait click on mesh i don't want to kill mesh i want to oh no can i not make mesh that i clicked on x mesh well, that's weird uh oh no it's placing mesh weird i don't have the option anymore Okay, that's, that's a little weird. Um, and it still says kill mesh. So, shouldn't, don't click on X mesh. Not gonna go well for you. Um, that being said, I do want to, uh, to kill this mesh. I, want, I really want the option so I can change the size of everything, but I don't want the mesh going over there. I want to bring it to my friendos. Uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna worry about that later. Uh, honestly, real quick, since, since we're still on the start before I do anything, uh, I am just gonna do a quick restart, because holy moly, that is something that's interesting. So by clicking... Uh, we already read you. By clicking mesh, we get the uh, we get the mesh option, and we can uh, we can place or destroy, which is X mesh, and we get the range. But by clicking X mesh, it really bugs this up. So no more X mesh for me. There we go. So now I can destroy uh, at a much bigger range. It's like blue. Get out of here for now. Maybe we'll put you down later. But for now, you're out. Uh, looking pretty good. We have some creep already down, which is kind of nice. Uh, we do have, again, our uh, mission going, which is leading straight into this, which, again, very nice for us. And the, uh, yeah, there, there is the uh, AC coming out already. Uh, that being said, we also have a dark tower. That is right. The darkest of towers. And I think we're going to start off with uh, with some dark towerage. Uh, now, that being said, I do want to keep this dark tower alive. So let's, uh, let's just toss down an egg right over there. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is it wasn't nullified to start. So if it's not nullified to start, as far as I'm concerned, that is fair and gone. Uh, the game is fair there. It is surrounded in beacons, so that is good for them. But you can already see the darkness starting to peek out of the sides, right? So watch this. We just do one more. Bazinga. Bazanga. The darkness has enveloped things. So we, we have some dark starts. Uh, we do have some eggs that we're going to want to use, of course. Uh, we could, honestly, a good use for eggs early on is probably to uh, expand, like take out, take more mesh areas. Like if we could get uh, an egg chain over to here, uh, that would give us this starting to breed. Potentially cutting that off from hitting over there. That would be kind of nice. Uh, but you know what? Hey, well, well, slowly but surely, let's uh, let's keep that darkness expanding. Bazinga, look at that. The darkness is expanding. Turned off that nullifier. We are now going to be... That's going to shut off from lack of power. We just freed our Blob Friends. Huzzah! Blob Friends, ahoy. Love to see it. Uh, I am a big old fan of Blob Friends. And do we want this to breed? Like, do we care? Uh, yeah, why not? We'll just toss it down. Pop all eggs. It's going to breed in now. That should be breeding. So, bazinga. Breed out a little bit. I'll take it. 
eh, it also spreads it out this way a little bit more, which is more so what I wanted from it, right? Just to, again, get that spread to the side to get to that, and to get to that. Uh, also, free our air sac friends. So again, feeling pretty good. Bazinga. Oh, the darkness. It freezes, it freezes the system so good when the darkness hits. Uh, I, I cannot say otherwise to that, though. Um, but yeah, so far so good. Um, yeah, feel, feeling, feeling pretty alright. Pretty alright. Uh, as you can see, oh, by the darkness expanded, we've freed our launcher as well. Glorious. Oh my gosh, we've even freed this emitter. Holy moly, we've freed quite a lot already. Uh, just from some darkness, you know, we're freeing our friends thanks to darkness. I love it, right? I mean, we didn't, we didn't have to do anything, and we freed essentially every friend in this area. How is this emitter doing? It's 60 every 0.4, and this is 100 every 0.5. So this is, this being faster, amazing. Much better emitter. Um, and with that in mind, I would venture to guess ooh, that we, we made it to here first. We won the battle. We got the big zone. Success. Love to see it. Um, with that in mind, my guess is this emitter over here, uh, Bar, which does not have a shield on it anymore, but it is nullified. It is nullified, so I will leave that one alone for now. Um, that emitter over there is uh, probably even faster, because it's closer to the front lines, and I really like that touch in a lot of maps, too. Um, I do think uh, the emitters do need to get more frequent the closer they are to the front lines generally uh because if if we were playing this with uh just purely upgrading this well why would you know it makes more sense to upgrade these grand you could also make the argument if they're all the same then it doesn't matter which one you upgrade so you know long term you're not wasting points on a weaker one i suppose i don't know um but look at this i mean we haven't really done anything they're down to literally just this to provide this whole area power. I mean, it, it, Dark Towers, they they do good work, <laughs> you know. They don't always do the best of work based off their placement, you know, like if it was placed in a corner or, you know, something like that, you know. Probably over here would probably be also another, not bad place for it, but a more awkward place. Um, just because, as you can see, like, as we're expanding, we're actually getting closer and closer to their base as well. So this can, does have the potential to essentially take over the entirety of the map, right? Um, but right now, we have just prevented, uh, our creep from, from dying, in essence, at this point. Uh, the only other thing that I do want to make sure we do is we get that mesh to that skimmer factory, because, you know, that skimmer factory is where the friendos are. And I know me. I love me some friendos. Uh, we'll also we'll also expand it off to this side, you know, just so it goes to that sort of front line. And we want it to come off. Can uh, I don't know if there's enough creep under the friendo zone right now, but I think I think that should work. And you know, this will even go over here. You know, just connect it to both. I want friendos on this mesh. I want them pooping out creep. It's what friendos do. And we even have some creep over here. I'm guessing from an egg from a spore launcher. And we have two more upgrades. Oh my, that's already going so good. You know, two more. I want to get to this friend though, right? Let's let's get to our last emitter, and then I think I think we'll swap from the dark tower probably. Uh, but if we can get our front loaded friend, then I think that's a pretty big win. Uh, look at I mean, look at this. There's there's nothing they can do. Although the planes are causing some strife, and sadly the AC is reaching the back. Uh, what would be nice is if I could do a train of eggs uh, and essentially take that out before it gets started. It got started already. It's not the end of the world. It's more of a, a nuisance later on. Um, or will it be? I don't know. We, we have, uh, we're saving up our eggs right now. That's the big thing. Uh, because we, we have plans. That's the thing. We have plans. And plans are what make the world go round at times. Uh, getting more blobs would be nice. Getting more uh, spores would be nice. But for now, again, we're just we're just holding. We're doing pretty good. Uh, be nice if this would push in. Start to take some of these. Like I would love that breeder zone. Uh, we don't have. I mean, we have okay creep production. You know, we have enough. Uh, I think the real key here is the fact that we don't have that much fighting us other than air right now. And although the air, I don't think can attack because it's the dark zone, right? They can just fly around. So even the air can't do anything. Yeah, oh, well. <laughs> Huzzah to that. I, I'm, I'm super happy. Uh, and we're already... We're maybe, what, like one, two, maybe three upgrades away? 
So I, th I think I think we'll go with our preferred purchaser. Uh, I'll, I'll even turn up the speed a little bit so we get these upgrades a little bit faster. So one. Uh, is that even upgrade? That doesn't look like it moved that much. Uh, let's let's watch the edges. So the edge is basically at the edge of the shield. Where are you going next? So, huzzah. There we go. Uh, so, bazinga. Yes. Okay, so it did turn that off. So maybe like one or two more. I mean, one more for that one for sure. The question is that one. That might be three. Boo. Boo to three. I don't want it to be three. But it just might be. And that's okay. That's okay. Again, saving my eggs. Uh, because they are... They're gonna be... They're gonna be the key, right? I mean, eggs... There's a lot of AC here. You know, there's quite a lot of it. And, you know, a lot of eggs have a huge potential with AC, right? Because when you pop them in one location, you can re you can actually overwhelm the AC in that spot. And that's, that's I think, is going to be highly important. Let's see, does this free our friend? Oh, no, is it one off? Uh, no, I think it's one off. You're the worst. You're the worst. Oh, wait, is it going down? It might be in. I think it's in. I think we're getting the mitter on our side. Look at us. That feels super, super good. Um, there we go. There's that emitter. 30 every point three. So very weak emitter, but it's the fastest emitter. I mean, put it in perspective, this is doing three and a third times every second. Our initial one was doing two, and our second one was doing 2.5. You know, so three and a third, substantially faster. So every upgrade is that much more impactful. And it's on the front lines, which also is just nothing to scoff at, right? So let's let's start uh, beefing this bad boy up. We're going to want our front lines to be pretty strong, uh, I think, you know. Uh, plus, again, because this is so fast, every upgrade being that much more important should help take this over, basically take over the rest of the map. So I think we've done pretty good. This shield wall, definitely problematic. <clears throat> they have loads and loads of snipers. I mean, look at all these things, right? So sniper-wise, <clears throat> oh no, they actually shut it down. Those bastards. Um, boop. Was that enough? Maybe one more again. Jeez, I was super excited for this emitter. And nope, that nullifier is running out of juice now. It is. It is in the uh, the problem zone. Um, oh, but what is this? I don't know why, but the AI is moving out. Uh, and I actually did see this. I was just testing this map and playing around with a couple of things. I saw that the AI moved out. Didn't make any sense at all to me. Uh, but they did. So, with the AI moving out, uh, we now have a monstitude of eggs. Uh, and they really don't have any defenses in their base. So we have an extreme opportunity at this point to uh, do a lovely chain into their base. So uh, this is, I think, a very valid thing to do. Uh, again, look at the quantity of AC here. It's monstrous, right? Uh, and they're real, again, they have snipers everywhere, so we can't really blob in. They have earned uh, miscals, so we can't, we can't spore in, right? So really, we, we have to rely on uh, either destroying all the AC and getting our creep in right now, or, uh, or some shenanigans. And, you know, sometimes shenanigans are, are your friend. Uh, <laughs> let's see what happens. Oh, there we go. We got a nice solid chain. And there we go. Now that we have so many eggs saved up, even though there's this much AC, uh, I, I think I think we're in a pretty good spot. Not to mention, uh, we should shut off the rest of the map. So plenty of creep saved up, plenty of eggs at our disposal, and yeah, they they wanted the best. They tried the rest, and I think we got them. Mission achieved. We still have a couple eggs left over, but I think I think this creep will last. But if you notice, even with all those eggs, this creep will die just to the AC, which is pretty wild. Um, so definitely, definitely pretty fun. Uh, there we go. You know, that's, that's I think that's a nice mix between uh, multiple strategies, um, between the uh, dark tower and the nice little egg chain that we were able to do. We weren't able to do that egg chain essentially any earlier until they move out. And, you know, 
seems seems to have worked pretty pretty well although someone got something in there in two minutes so somehow i have no idea how you would do that i don't even think you have enough eggs to do that and there's no way you're gonna spore in there so I, I don't know how this two minute time time went uh but you know what good on them uh maybe i don't know i i, I just don't know uh, if you do know, let me know, because I'm very curious. Uh, hope you enjoyed. A uh, nice quick one today, I think, you know. Uh, hope you have a wonderful day. And, yeah, I'll, I'll catch you next time. Take care.